What's going on, Gemini? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be a reading for the week of May 15th to the 21st, 2023. So in this reading, Gemini, we are going to take a look at your overall general energy for the week. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming. We're also going to get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and so much more regarding May 15th to the 21st, 2023. Now, before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here, Gemini, in this space with me as we go through this reading. And I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, Gemini, definitely smash that like button and subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and pull the energy and uh, see what wants to come through for you for May 15th to the 21st, 2023. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Gemini. See what we got here for you, Gemini. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. <clears throat> All right, Gemini. Let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards from the universe. What frequency do you need more of this week? What frequency do, does the universe want you to embody from a higher perspective? The first one you have is immunity. And this frequency immunity, Gemini, is really coming through as a message of understanding your own personal permission slips in this life. Now, something we all know, Gemini, is that we all know that there are certain collective agreements like gravity exists, the law of attraction is real. Um, you know, if you jump off a cliff as a human being, you're probably not going to be able to fly unless you're some sort of ascended master who has some sort of crazy belief system or it's relevant, etc. But immunity, Gemini, what I'm telling you is, is there some sort of thing that your soul can get away with in this life that others cannot, okay, that you're meant to tap into? The best example of this I can give you, for example, is my favorite comedian, Joey Diaz. If you don't know who Joey Diaz is, he is, in my opinion, the funniest man on earth. Now, the things that this man says and the, the way that he interacts, if another person tried to do it, everyone would be repulsed, okay? But what he has is immunity, basically in the comedy realm, to be the most raunchy, nasty person but even though he's doing that, you get the response, you get a vibrational response of, wow, that was hilarious and wow, that was amazing. Now, partially is that because he accepts himself, partially is that because he worked with the law of attraction and the or his own mindset in a unique way to simply not judge himself, yes. But the other part of that is the pre-birth agreement. The other part of that is the immunity. He's basically immune to people feeling offended by him. Okay, now, not of course, but whatever's going on for you this week, there's some sort of thing that you can get away with that, other, that others cannot. And you need to find that. You need to tap into that and you need to use it. Now, the best analogy that I can give this, that I can give you to illustrate this is that life, Gemini, is not about the cards that you're dealt. 
It's about using the cards that you are dealt to your full effect. Now, what are some of those cards? Some of those cards can be your astrological influence, okay, your, your birth chart. Some of those cards can be your ancestral uh, inheritance, okay, the traumas, but also the blessings. Some of those cards can also be your own hard work that you put in, okay? But there's many cards and you have to use them to, the, to their full effect. But more importantly, there's something you can get away with that others cannot. I'm getting also, if, okay, for one more example, just to make this more clear, I don't know, like I just got this example of like some OnlyFans girl, like some girl is very attractive, like you're in a very attractive girl. And because of, once again, your cards or because of something you're immune to, you can, you can get away with being this like super popular, sexy OnlyFans girl and you'll get an amazing response where if, whereas if someone else tried to do that with kind of more other placements or other circumstances they would not be able to do the same. So don't try to copy other people. Tap into your own personal cards, all right? Now you have open to life. Okay? So open to life here Gemini. Once again, remain open to the possibilities of what Remain open to how you can play your cards to their full effect, okay? Because this is a lifelong process and there's also many what I'm getting is that there's many portals of opportunity to be to play into that immunity card in your life. So um, just because you missed the boat on maybe you wanted to be an athlete, um, but obviously athletes have to train from when they're little. If you want to be a professional athlete, you better have been like six years old in the subconscious mind or else you're going to get whooped by someone who has that subconscious programming. And so even if you wanted to be an athlete and you failed at that, well now there's a new door that you are also immune to open to. So open to life, be open because I think there's something that you don't see here that will be illuminated specifically more towards the 21st of May, closer to the eclipse happening. And it's crazy, with, I'm gonna show you this. Now, we also have Catalyst. Now when this card shows up, it kind of says like, Forget about the whole thing. What this is saying is that your frequency right now is raising, your frequency is expanding to such a point that your frequency is becoming much more higher. And when you raise your personal frequency, things like manifestation becomes easier, things like communicate, communication with spirit becomes easier, things like soul contracts open up, things like I can keep going on and on. And what this basically means is no matter what you have going on, even if you are going through, especially for this week from the 15th to the 21st, a particularly painful experience, it's raising your frequency and um, you know, it's like anything else, like, you know, raising, raising your frequency doesn't often feel good. Okay. But it's, but it, it, that initial, okay, is happening. So be open, tap into your immunity and the catalyst. Now, when it comes to your uh, opportunity to get into the tarot, you have the king of wands here as your opportunity, Gemini. And this really is showing me it, it's going much in alignment with that immunity open to life and catalyst. The, the King of Wands is someone who, who plays his cards to full effect, okay? This is someone who is tapping into that immunity aspect that I just mentioned. For a lot of you, there's an opportunity to get passionate, to be open to life, to be very, um, maybe even for some of you paying attention to your physical body, getting in shape, okay? For others of you ladies out there, or even the men, there is an opportunity for you to have dealings with a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, man. It doesn't have to be, but they could have other fire placements in their chart. There's some sort of opportunity here. I'm getting like even an emotional opportunity for you to connect with a fire sign, whether that be whatever. We're gonna have to see when we clarify. Now your challenge is the 10 of cups and the 10 of cups is your, it's almost like your ideal wish. It's like your ideal vision for how your life should be, or it's like a happily ever after frequency. Now with this 10 of, with this 10 of cups in your challenge here, for a lot of you, when you start to tap into that immunity, when you start to tap into that open to life and the catalyst, um, there's something about your your children, your your parents, your soul family who will not understand this. Like, all right, when I started playing my, so, and or it's either that there's like, there's physical people that you consider to be family members, good friends, etc. They won't understand you playing this immunity card. For others of you with this 10 of cups being here, um, Gemini, it's more so, not so much people, but your own personal happily ever after may be thrown off by this, okay? For example, when I first started, you know, I, I realized, okay, my destiny is to be some sort of spiritual teacher. My destiny is clearly to be some sort of spiritual teacher, but at first I didn't really play my own cards. I didn't use my own immunity. And so I tried to like be like everyone, other spiritual teachers that are like, hey, I'm here to help you. My name is Austin and I'm here to help you raise your vibration. And everyone was like, 
that ain't his card. <laughs> and basically, when I switch to that, to, oh, now I'm the autistic mystic, blah, 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 or I just, I do what I want. I do what I want now in these readings. Everyone was like, bro, autistic mystic, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Like, don't do that. And I'm like, you don't understand my cards. You don't understand my immunity. No, 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 no. And so there's something going on with that, especially for some of those. I don't know why I keep getting this. There's some sort of really hot woman listening to me who wants to be an OnlyFans girl. Do it. Like, who cares? Like, well, you know what I mean? Like, now, or maybe don't do it. I <laughs> have to say what I'm getting. Now, there's something about this eclipse energy, or there's something about this whole week that's very intense. And eclipses bring permanent change, and so that's what's coming into your life. It's crazy, Gemini. I mean, your energy, your overall general energy is the moon, the five of cups, and the sun. Or should I say, you know, the moon, five of cups, and the sun. And so whatever's going on, something's being revealed to you that once again will raise your vibration, okay? It will ra raise your vibration, it will set you free, it will bring permanent change. Now what do they say? The truth sets you free, but first it pisses you off. Or first it makes you sad. Now I'm getting the sadness could have to do with this frequency uh, and your challenge. <laughs> My man. And also you have the king of wands here and your opportunity, so there could be something around this. now. It gets a little bit dicey though, for you, when we start getting into what you don't see coming. When we get into, <laughs> we get into what you don't see, and, and there's a lot of people involved in this, Gemini, so don't be afraid if you, there really is some sort of thing about interpersonal conflict that has to do with misunderstanding. Now, when we talk about what you do not see coming with this eclipse energy and with this, uh, with this week coming up, Three of Swords, Three of Cups, Ace of Wands. Okay, so there's some sort of really deep pain about social connections that may lead to a new beginning or may have to do with the new beginning itself. And so whatever this is, I'm telling you there's people involved in it and I'm telling you this could lead to new social connections for you. And for those of you that are very dedicated to a certain tribe, okay, maybe you live in an intentional community already, etc., etc. There could just be something about readjusting. There could be something about you really figuring out who wants my expansion and who wants me to be a little peg in their system. Because there is something about as soon as you stop benefiting someone, how are they going to react to it? And it's the same thing about being in a relationship. You want to know how, you want to know if you know if someone's truly conscious, like love. If you go to your boyfriend, if you go to your girlfriend and you're like, hey, like we need to end this because my expansion lies elsewhere. If that person is truly conscious, if that person is truly on your side, then that person will turn to you and say, hey, I love, we, I love you with all my heart. I love you with my entire soul. I love you with my entire being. But if your expansion lies somewhere else, they'll have tears in their eyes and they will look at you and they will say, go on then. I'll, I'll be fine or whatever. And so if you don't experience that, then you may be, become aware of some sort of weird micro manipulation that's happening in your relationships or just something that benefits them that you're upset by. Now, the reason I'm saying a lot of people are involved with this is because when it comes to your advice from your spirit guides, you have the queen of swords, you have the queen of cups, and you also have the king of pentacles here at Gemini when it comes to your advice from your spirit guides. So clearly your advice has to do with people. Now, I'm not really fully connecting with it. And all I can say is there's a lot of people involved. There may be a conflict of your heart and your mind as well, especially when it comes to you playing those immunity cards, okay? And especially there could be some sort of, uh, uh, okay, all right. <laughs> well, what I'm getting now is the queen of swords is the queen of the mind. The queen of cups is the queen of the heart. In order to manifest what you want in this life, in order to attune to your, your star sector, in order to attune to your optimal lifeline, to tap into the cards that the universe gave you fully, you have to merge your heart and your head. Okay, I just did a reading, or the last reading I did for um, one of the water signs, it's all about merging the heart and the head. You can't have either one. And when you do that, you can move mountains. You can, you can have as much, when you, um, there is no limit to the amount of physical abundance that can come into your life when you unite the heart and the mind and you're doing the mission that you were meant to do. When you're playing the cards that the universe gives you, there is no limit to your physical abundance because why? Because it doesn't even matter to you at that point because you're so fulfilled with the heart and the head. And I'm telling you, it has to do, do with you being open to life and some sort of immunity. And I'm telling you for the woman out there, there's something about your physical body. There's something about um, 
there's something about using the avatar that the universe has given you to its full effect instead of being, you know, some sort of weirdness. What will these people think? What do I think about it? Even though, because some of you, what's going on, especially for like the ladies out there, you know, it's like, oh, I'm supposed to be doing this, but you know, I don't like that. I have this, you know, this weird thing about it. And so with that being said, let's go ahead and start getting into the clarification portion of this reading. You see, when I start doing consecutive readings, it's over now. You know, I'm not gonna be, okay, shut up. <laughs> oh my God. All right. <laughs> Why is the King of Wands here as your opportunity? Why is the King of Wands here as your opportunity, Gemini, for this upcoming week? Well, <laughs> the, you see, I'm going to be honest. I felt like I was in such a flow state. I even forgot what I said in this whole reading. I literally don't even know what I said up until this point. Well, I do. So let's get into it. Uh, the King of Wands is clarified by the Six of Cups in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, and also the Eight of Pentacles here. Gemini and your opportunity. So once again, making a hard pivot from the past is your opportunity. The Six of Cups in reverse in your opportunity. This has to do with your hometown, nostalgia, family, roots, your ancestry even, or some sort of ideal that you lived your life by in the past. Because it's your opportunity with the King of Wands, cut. really there's, a, there's an opportunity to cut ties with the past. Even if it's not people, it's some sort of frequency, past frequency. Now, your opportunity as well is the Five of Pentacles and also the Eight of Pentacles. So there could be something about embracing hard work, changing the way that you work. What I'm picking up on is there's some sort of way that you need to study or there's some sort of way in which you can learn that would very much so skyrocket your learning. The quickest example that I can give you that's coming to my mind, Gemini, is there's something about, and I'm telling you, no matter what you want to master, if you want to be an author, public speaker, astrologer, blah, 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 like actor, blah, 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 I'm telling you, there was a guy that basically um, could remember like a thousand, like some stupid number, like he could remember like a thousand people's names um, in a room, like he would be on stage and there'd be a thousand people and he could literally be like Alberta, Congo, Mongo, those aren't even names, or maybe they are. Uh, Alberta, Henry, Peter, John, and he could remember a thousand people. The only reason he could remember it is because he did this weird association where he altered the way in which that he remembered or learned things. That's something, that's, that's a little quick fix for you. But on the bigger picture, for those of you that are less established, for those of you that maybe are younger or maybe you just let go of a job, there's something about, once again, your true career, your true abundance is going to happen when you merge the heart and the head and you embrace your personal immunity. Now, the Six of Cups in your ch in reverse, dealing with this uh, Ten of Cups, definitely going to be problems with your children, your parents, your old friends, whoever. Now, let's also clarify that. I mean, why, why is the Ten of Cups here? in your, um, or once again, if it's not that, it has to do then with your ideal vision, your challenge. Now, for some of you, this could have to be with, now I'm picking up on this for some of you. For some of you, you thought, oh, the only way that I'm gonna, I, the only way that I'm gonna manifest this, this happily ever after, this white picket fence reality, this, this ideal dream reality, is if I do something more traditional, is if I work hard, and if I do what my guidance counselor told me in sixth grade, no! What you have to do here, Gemini, with this, t with this Ten of Cups frequency in your challenge is you have to realize the pathway to getting to your happily ever after isn't listening to anyone else. It's not even listening to me. It's listening to what is your immunity? What are the cards that the universe gives you? And are you using them? Because most of you are not. Or at least you are, I mean, all of you are. The universe gave me, as soon as I said that, the universe like gave me a bitch slap and they were like, mystic, shut up. And I was like, okay, okay, so you're not using, you're still using them, but you're not using them to your full effect yet. And so, why is the Ten of Cups here in your challenge? Uh-uh. 
<laughs> okay, it's a neutral card. It's not reverse and it's not upright. Well, it's more, it's 75% upright, 25% reverse. Also a neutral card. See, when it comes out on the table like this, I read it as neutral. It would make sense because it's the lover's card. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> the Ten of Cups in your challenge is clarified by the lovers and the Ten of Cups. And it's also clarified by the Knight of Swords. So there's some sort of fast change happening here, Gemini. With that synchronicity being at hand, I feel that I've given you all the tools necessary to make it through this week to the best of your ability. And I feel that I've done my job. So with that being said, will you do your job? I don't know. Peace.